Hi everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante. I'm with Wikibon.org, and this is theCUBE, where we go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise, and we bring you the best guests that we can find. I'm here with my co-host, Jeff Frick. Craig McDonough is here. He's the Director of Product Marketing for ServiceNow. Uh, Craig, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you much. So, uh, Great event for you guys. You have this uh, thing called the Innovation of the, the Year That's Award right. Winners. It's mm -hmm. a big, uh, big award that you guys give every year. Tell us more about Innovation of the Year. What's that all about? Yeah, Innovation of the Year is an is a opportunity to showcase some of the great work that our customers do on the ServiceNow platform. Um, and every, every year we, uh, we invite people to send us their artwork. It's, like, it's kind of like when the kids come home with the artwork and you stick it on the fridge. <laughs> this is our version of the artwork on the fridge. The kids, or in this case the customers, come, come in, they show us what they've presented, uh, what they've created, and you know, nine times out of 10, these are real business applications that have been built to solve real business problems, and uh, you know, they're, they're, they're solving problems that aren't solved by any other technology out there, and they've sat down and just by themselves created these unbelievable applications from scratch. So, um, how do you guys judge the, <laughs> the winner? <laughs> so that's an interesting process. <laughs> uh, I mean, quite frankly, you know, we, this year we were overwhelmed. We had a, about 45 entries. And when you've got 45 completely separate, diff completely different applications and you're going through them, it's really hard to pick, pick mm -hmm. winners, and so, we, what we ended up doing was a very scientific method. Uh, Fred and I printed out all of the screenshots that we were given, laid them all out on the floor, and literally crawled around on our hands and, hands and knees uh, looking at the screenshots and holding them up when we, when we saw good ones that, that we thought would tell a good story. So you sort of narrowed them down. Very scientific, so yeah. Kind of a top 10 or something. And then we, we narrowed <laughs> them down to a top five. Okay. And then uh, in, the, uh, in the keynote presentation this morning, uh, we presented those five to the audience and we asked them to, uh, just using a text poll, similar to American Idol, asked them to text in their favorite. And uh, we, uh, we got our winner. So tell us, who, who won? The, uh, the winner for the, uh, for the Innovation of, year of the Year Award for 2013 was Target. Okay, it's great, Target. yeah, we saw Target, Target cruising yeah. around last night, right? Yeah, so. it's, it, it's great, I mean, Target is a, again, it's like Walmart, a lot of these companies that people mm -hmm. don't think of as technology companies, yeah. really under the covers are a lot more of a technology company oh, yeah. than anyone realizes. So what was their, uh, what was their app? So they'd, they'd built an application to allow their, their, uh, their, their service, uh, service management professionals to be able to handle walk-up appointments and to be able to actually get mobile. So instead of sitting in a call center somewhere, these guys are wandering around the enterprise, helping people out as they're encountering problems, and they're doing it all with a mobile application. People can set up appointments, engineers can enter in the work that they're doing in like an iPad, uh, using an iPad device or, or a laptop, um, and it was all presented in this beautiful user interface, which I think probably went, went a long way to, to you know, why, they, why, they, uh, why they did so well. Yeah, beautiful works and, and awards like that. So what are some of the other cool apps that you saw? I mean, ones that you sort of had a hard time, you know, well, throwing out. Yeah, I mean, look, there were some, there were some great ones. We had, uh, we had companies that had built entire CIO dashboard, dashboarding systems to, to give their CIOs visibility into what was happening in IT like you would never have before. I mean, I'm sure you've, you've spoken to a lot of people this week that, talk, that have talked about IT being kind of the, the, cobbler's, the cobbler's children. And, and they're, they're usually trying to do their job with a collection of technology. Bringing all of that together into a consolidated dashboard is what, uh, what the folks at Equinix did. Uh, and they were one of, they, they actually weren't even a finalist this year, but they were, they were definitely an honorable mention. Um, the, the other finalists that we had this year were Metro PCS. Um, uh, we also had uh, GE, Asset Management, Sephora, and Tickets.com. And every single one of those companies has created an application that really solves a business, a business problem they were having, right. and they've had a real measurable impact on their business. Now, it's, what's interesting is you've got this really active community going on, mm -hmm. right? You've got people contributing these apps. We visited the hackathon yesterday. Yeah, that was cool. Um, you know, they're, they're working away. It, it begs the question is, are they sharing this amongst themselves? Is there, is there an app store? It's got to be an app store on the horizon. I know you guys can't talk about it. It's got to be. Both for, you know, company built apps, because mm -hmm. a lot of people are building little businesses on the ecosystem that yeah. you guys are creating, but also, 
these internal guys right. who are you know kind of internal ServiceNow champions building neat things that I'm sure other people would like to uh, to leverage. So uh, yeah, how's that working in this community? Well, actually, in the the latest release of ServiceNow, the Calgary release, which was announced on Monday, um, we we introduced some new capability for exactly that purpose. Um, that helps um, it helps our customers when they create an application like this to be able to package it up so that they can take it and share it with other customers. Um, I, I think the, the idea of an app store is probably you know, complete with the commerce and the validation and those sort of things. That's probably a little way off, but certainly the idea of a community where, where people can exchange ideas and exchange applications with one another, we'd, we'd love to see that happening. Well, Funny because Der we had Derek Roast on from eProtex yesterday, uh -huh. and one of yeah. those guys, and uh, and he, he was making his laugh. He said, "Wow, I went out, I developed this application, and then two months later, <laughs> there it was." You know? <laughs> right. And then he did it a couple of times. So there's clearly uh, an interest amongst customers in terms of collaborating on that uh, type of thing. Yeah, most definitely. We had, uh, I think it was last year in the Innovation of the Year Awards, uh, VeriSign showed off a, an amazing uh, data center power and space management application they built in ServiceNow, and after that event, we had a couple of other large customers, I think it was Google, and uh, I can't remember who the other customer was, but two, two very large customers came to us and said, can you put, in con put us in contact with those guys, because we want to talk to them about how they did it and see if there's a way that we can, we can use that as well, because you know, these, are, these are real business problems that people face, and in a lot of cases, there isn't a packaged application that solves the problem. Right, right, and uh, yeah, so the opportunity for, uh, like you say, collaboration, or a, who knows, maybe even a marketplace at some point in time. Yeah. What, um, what surprises you about how customers are using ServiceNow? You know, I've, I've tried to stop being surprised because, <laughs> you know, you know the, the, because uh, I think everything surprises me, quite, quite frankly. You know, what you see when, when customers come up with their innovations, or last night you mentioned the hackathon, you know, we have customers come up with, with work that they did at the hackathon, it, it surprises isn't a strong enough word. It, it absolutely blows me and pretty much every other ServiceNow employee that sees it, they, they just get blown away. Because it really, even Fred, you know, when, when we were going through these, uh, these innovations, Fred was like leafing through the pages just completely blown away with, with what customers have done with ServiceNow. It is, it's incredibly inspirational to us. Yeah. Um, you know, all of the work that, that these guys did around the innovations and the, the hackathon um, is absolutely going to go viral within the developer team at ServiceNow. They, they're going to be looking through this thing and, and you know, learning and just being inspired. It's, Incredible to be inspired by, by it's customers. It's awesome because you know, there's all these things. You constantly read about how do you get innovation out of big companies? Yeah. How do you teach innovation? How do you teach creativity? Is it even possible? Yeah. But what it sounds like is with this tool that you guys have created, you are really kind of unlocking this, this oh. pent up creativity and uh, ingenuity and imagination mm -hmm. in a group of people who heretofore were, were chasing down trouble tickets right. and, and answering calls and you know, you've audit, some of you've automated enough of the processes that they can now free up their brain to think of you know kind of higher value problems and yeah. and have a tool they can actually go out and execute against it. Well, and not only that, it's a tool that they can then use. They can then take this to the rest of the business and and say, you know, we understand HR department, you've got some issues as well. We can help you with that. Yeah. Facilities department, we can help you with that. Uh, and they're, they're actually automating processes beyond the walls of IT, right. well, which is... Yeah, I mean, Carolyn yeah. was here from uh, Linux. She said she's not going out there, but they're, they're coming over to her right. place, tapping her on the shoulder. Can we, you come do one of those for us? Yeah, <laughs> we hear that story all the time. It's actually, it's surprisingly common. Yeah. And it's, again, incredibly inspirational. Yeah, that's great. So we've been talking to a lot of customers this week, and uh, I ask them, I, it's just amazing the consistency that you hear, they're really enthusiastic. Well, first of all, why do you think they're so enthusiastic? Let's start there, I mean, it's kind of an obvious question, but I, I want to hear your answer. I, I, don't, I don't know whether it is an obvious question. Uh, I think they're so enthusiastic because these, in most cases, these are IT professionals. And if you think in most organizations, the IT professional is, is kind of the, the downtrodden person within many, within many organizations. I mean, the CIO, in many cases, is the most replaced executive uh, in, in an executive team. Uh, people, IT departments generally and historically have had bad reputations, not through any fault of their own, 
um, they're just because they really haven't had the tools to manage their to manage the the, the service that they provide to the business. Um, people don't like IT. I mean, they, they, the they business don't. people don't like IT. Well, right. It really is the no, right? Yeah. That, that was it the is. perception. It's it the department the no. of no, right? And <laughs> and I think you know it, it's not just a marketing slogan. Right. I think we honestly are able to take people. We give them a tool that they can use within IT just to lift themselves out of that, right. and they can then take that same tool and use it to actually promote themselves to the business and solve real business problems for the business. I, I think the reason why people are so get so excited about ServiceNow is because it's taken them from being that downtrodden, mm -hmm. despised part of the business and turned them into heroes in their own organizations. Yeah, you guys use that term IT heroes a lot. And, yeah. um, now, the other thing is, so I'm talking to a lot of customers this week and just asking them, why do you love it so much? And they basically say what, what, what you just said. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really helping us solve our, our problem. Make it, it's making us you know, much more respected within our organization. Right. So we're, it's making our clients happy. And let's face it, IT people are, they're client driven. Uh, I, I mm -hmm. mean, they do, they, they have to service their customers. They, they care a lot about them. The problem is they just, the planes are backing up with right. requests. Right. So, <laughs> so they, they want to do a good job and, and now you're giving them the tools to do that. But So the second question I asked them is, okay, well, what's on ServiceNow's to-do list? What, you know, what aren't you happy with? What, you know, what, what could they do to make your life even better? And, mm -hmm. I, and I get blank stares. I, I've asked that question dozens of times this week. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I get answers like, well, uh, we're really happy. Or, well, <laughs> we're kind of, just still absorbing all the great stuff. I, yeah. I've not found somebody to say, okay, I need this, 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 and this. Now, maybe before the, the iPad, maybe somebody says, I want Android support or something like that. Okay, sure. fine, great. But there's got to be something. So what, what's on your to-do list from a you know, product marketing standpoint? It's where do we go next? Um, you know, I, I think we, we need to, one, one thing that we, we're going to be very definite about is the, our focus is on the IT organization. So what you're not going to see us doing next is starting to go out to other units within the business. You know, we're not going to go out to the sales organization and say, hey, you should use ServiceNow for you know, automating your, your sales process. Yeah. We're no. not going to go out to HR and say you should do stuff there. Don't buy Workday, but yeah. Yeah, yeah not that's, that's, not, that's not what we'll do. But what we will do is say to our IT customers, it, you know, here's a tool that you can use to maybe front end some of your your stand your typical uh, HR request processes. Um, I, I think the next big growth area for ServiceNow is going to be on the platform side. It's you know, we're, the platform enables the IT professionals to to not only take the the applications that we provide out of the box and and customize them so that they're doing exactly what they need them to do, but it also gives them the ability to automate processes for which there isn't an application in the IT, in the, in the IT world. And then thirdly, they can take those applications and, and you know, offer them to the rest of the business. So I, I think there's, there's probably a lot that we can do around the platform piece to, to help strengthen that, uh, to help to help, quite frankly, make people more aware of, of the, the gold that they already have in their hands. Mm. Excellent. All right, Craig, well listen, thanks very much for coming by and sharing the Innovation Award winners. Congratulations on, uh, on that process and on a, on a great conference and having so much success. Really appreciate it. Great, thanks very much. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. Uh, we're going to start the customer segment. We've got uh, Maritz coming on and uh, a number of other customers, so keep it right there. We'll be right back. This is theCUBE. We're live. Knowledge. <laughs>